Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here. And today I have prepared a mixture uh, of the nail designs for you, absolutely perfect for Christmas. Have a preview of it in here. Yes, the Santa presents and a snowflake, and I hope you will really enjoy the combination of a different techniques to achieve this look. So let's start. I love doing those super quick and effective designs. This one is going to be a bit longer, uh, but I hope you will like it. So we are going to start off with the transfer foil gel. Put a scoop of it in there. And it's the strongest transfer foil gel glue you would ever seen. So let's start doing the middle tip. And what you want to do it is go around it like to create a window in there. Here on the bottom we can go even more weakly and we have created a nice beautiful window here, a bit more gold. We like gold, I mean at least I like gold and then a bigger in here. Cure it, 60 seconds. Then on this one, another picture here. So again, almost like a very irregular shape. Straight away, grab the dotting tool. And do some pretty snowflake. Drag it in. First one is ready. So we can just take it and grab some gold transfer foil. So I'm curing it 60 seconds, guys. Place it there and transfer. Actually place it on something which doesn't move. As always, the life is much easier then. There we are. So I've got the first ring ready. And we are going to paint some Santa in here. I will need some uh, pink color. And I've got it mixed there. So just a scoop of those pink. A decent scoop of the red. And let's transfer the transfer foil into another tip which we have created. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transfer it and go on the sides.
Yay! Put it on the side. And then let's start painting Santa here. I will also add a drop of those uh, skin tone, which is 215. And a drop of the top coat. Perfect. Now I can mix it to the skin tone with the pink. And we can start painting the head of the Santa. Color it in. Clean the brush and straight away go into the top part where we're going to paint some hat. Leave some empty space just so you don't smudge the things. So it's almost like a wee triangle shape. Here on the side, we are going to paint a huge hand. And another one here. This one is covering the face a little bit. Okay, once you have created that, we have to freeze it. So cure our product and then add some detail in here, base gel. And then some gems. If the gems don't want to stick in, that's mean you haven't put enough base gel. There we are. So there is always explanations for the things. And then smaller ones in here. Right on the edges, one size smaller. And then let's cook it. Okay, Santa, next part. So a huge red nose. Clean the brush. Like really well, dip in into your white because you can see it, the white has some... Um, red shadow in there and we don't want that. Now we are going to paint the eyes. So one eye here. Like very close to the nose. And then the second eye. That's already fantastic. Let's add some shadows, so top coat. Not shadows, shiny places. Highlights. Highlights, thank you, cameraman. I didn't cure the nose yet, so I have to be very careful. Let's cure it. This one is ready for a part two. And we like the pink things. So since we've got some pink in here, we are going to... No, no, Dorota, you would break this design. Let's stop coat it all. 
so top coated all. Then cure it. <laughs> then let's go back to Santa. Dotting tool and some black. I need some black inside the eyes. <laughs> Clean my brush, pick up the black and we just add some more detail like maybe mix it with the red so it's not too strong like if you don't want the colors to stand out too much I'm just mixing. See like now it's absolutely perfect shade for outlining. And same on the top where the hat is. Just add those little detail. Maybe a bend in the hat, like here you can see it. I have created a wee bend in the hat with those shadow. And another bend in the hat. Fantastic, cure it. Okay, this one is ready. So we are going to grab those pink I wanted desperately and just add, go around it, color it in, color it in, I'm not too fussy, like obviously I don't want to touch the crystals to cover them, but I'm not too fussy how I go around the gold because we made it really irregular anyway. Then grab some sugar. Such a uh, pretty design. Move the things aside and then sprinkle the entire tip. You always have to make sure the top coat is cured properly. If it's not, uh, the things can go messy and nasty. Okay, um, then the top coat, we've got some pink in there and a top coat. No, that was base gel, here is top coat. And I'm just going to give him a bit of cheeks here and there. Outline the nose as well with those red and black. Give him some eyebrows. So I have just dipped in my brush into the skin tone and I had already black in it. Maybe a bit more black. And he has some eyebrows. Clean the brush and then outline the eyes. This is the hardest part of the design. Just here and there, you don't have to even do it, the entire thing. Clean the brush, add some sparkle in there. Well, my brush has a broken tip. That's from doing the dots. And then cure it. Okay, let's quickly do something on this one as well. Sorry, I'm so sorry, cameraman. I'm all over the place. Please, please forgive me. Okay, another rounded shape. Like very wiggly, honestly guys, so wiggly. The, the more wiggly, the better. I think it looks nicer then. Might even do some bits and pieces in there. And then cure it. 60 seconds, so I need to restart my lamp. There we are, because you always want to cure it 60 seconds for the foil. Now, the Santa is ready to be top coated. So just top coat him. 
First tip is absolutely finished and ready to go in our display board. So I'm just cleaning the excess of the sugar. And I love the fact we have done it in pink. I do really love it because it's different, you know. Guys, it's a bit different. Oh, I should put the gems where the Santa is. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a drop of the base gel and just add a couple gems here. I will add the fur, but um, I wanted to add the gems first. Because if I add the fur and then I will try to add the gems, it would be quite difficult. Again, not enough base. That was for you, Joe. Gosh, Dorota, what a mess you've got today. Like usual. <laughs> That's not surprise, actually. That's not surprise, actually. Thanks, cameraman. Oh, wait, wait. I'm making a mess here. Okay, let's cook it. <laughs> Go back to our next old line. So we've got the snowflake, and then we should uh, transfer the foil there. Let better give me an idea what to paint on this one. Just give me something easy. Oh my goodness, he will come with something hard. Paint lucky. Paint lucky, yeah. Paint lucky. I don't know, leave it for a second. Let my imagination work. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, <laughs> guys, I know. Okay, I do really know, okay. So let's um, decorate the Santa. Again, I want those pink, but a bit lighter, just so we've got a few different shades. And paint it around it. around the crystals. Okay, just fill up any empty space with this color. Clean your brush and add some fur in the hat. Just go very wiggly. And wiggly here. Sugar. And sprinkle the entire tip. Then cure it. Okay, so here we are going to paint some Christmas present and I will show you the layer, layered look. What I mean by that is I want some red Christmas present and the bow I will want it in gold. So in order to do that guys, you will have to do it um, some top coat. So first of all, we are going to paint some Christmas presents here. Like a square. Square bit. Color it in. Then take a D-liner brush and just perfect the, the things so they look much prettier. Got some red in here. Add some colors on the bottom, so it's uh, darker on the bottom. Clean your brush, lighter color, so it's lighter on the top. And then cure it. Clean this one because it's ready. 
<laughs> cute actually, really nice. And not at, oh gosh, and not that time consuming. Let's place him here. The other one, we can cook it now with the top coat, but let's do the top coat. So top coat. And the reason for it is if I wouldn't top coat it, the um, transfer foil will stick into entire present. And I won't only paint the bow, the gold bow, because I feel like the gold bow will go absolutely amazing uh, with that. Save my sugar. So we need to cook it. That's it undercooked. So let's give it a couple scratches because the top coat is not fully cured. Clean it. And then using the D-liner brush and transfer foil gel, we are going to decorate this bow here. The present. So straight and straight and then bit on the top. Actually, let's cure it and let's do it with the gold, uh, no, red transfer foil for a change. Because we've got red Christmas present. So I've got some transfer foil here and that's the red I have. I'm going to, oh, that's not a red, but I'm going to just cut out those red piece from here, red and pink. Red and pink, 60 seconds cure. We are also going to decorate. That wasn't 60 seconds. There we are. We'll put some gems in there as well. So, come on. Okay, I will just under cure it again. Do this bow. Oh wow, that's so pretty. See, this was the place where the top coat wasn't uh, done properly. So I'm just going to clean it. Take a base gel. So base gel is here. Decorate with the small gem and couple gems. So a wee tiny gem. <coughs> just so they all got kind of similar accent. Again, not enough base gel. See, at the same time, I don't want to put kind of too much of it. There we are. Freeze it. So we can top coat everything. So like just two seconds, freeze, move the mess away and then high shine, no wipe top gel. I actually really like this quick design. Like it looks quite complicated because we have created so many different layers, you know, like layer after the layer. So top coat it properly, cure it. 60 seconds because otherwise the sugar will stick in into different places and then once we do that we can do the color snow and I've got I will want the same one so I need to grab it from the pot and this is a good tip guys for you I had hardly any paint um, the French one so I added a drop of the red to create a pink because pink is the one which I'm using the most uh, so does the blue and I've got a pot of the blue which is mix it with white too uh, because that's the colors which I'm using quite quite often perfect that's it cooked so the pink just the same one like we've got it 
again pretty easy to paint because we don't have to go as uh, regular over the um, where the gold is that's why I told you like you don't spend too much time on it um, you can go more you could go less and even if you go over it it is absolutely fine you can see it I did went over a little bit too uh, sugar sprinkle and sugar looks different on different colors like uh, I will show you on the white and pink one more time when this one is cooking so you can see it it looks different on this pink it looks different on this pink and it looks different on white uh, it's absolutely awesome that's why I love it and I wear on my nails like in the winter maybe not in the summertime uh, I think I'm more active as well in the summertime but like in the winter time as long as you don't wear black coat <laughs> which is uh, staining so bad um, sugar is a fantastic option but even if they stain I just clean it with the blue scrub or acetone and that will absolutely remove any excess so that's the sugar one ready to move the blue tack you uh, guys you ask me what I'm using um, to secure my tips so this is a blue tack for those of you who are in UK like me uh, I'm using a drop of the blue tack you know guys what is that it's just like a wee sticky plastiline you can do everything like <laughs> with it uh, but that's I love them oh my goodness like we I think we've got a good recording day today because coming up with amazing ideas like look at this gold uh, it looks fantastic but even those uh, pinky and ready um, bow uh, color that looks fantastic too I'm sending you please please hit the share button for me as well and now I'm sending you big glittery hugs bye